Today, we are going to be learning how to create kids storybook, okay? So now, just come to your chat GPT and then write out these prompts. Give me seven titles for kids storybook. Give me seven titles for kids book story, ages five to seven. Now, we're fixing the age so that it can know the kind of um, books we are talking about, all right? So here are the seven fun and age-appropriate stories for kids so i'm going to be choosing one of the number i'm going to be choosing number five so using number five write a key story different scenes story type moral age five to seven years input image prompt too so the five is early early the elephant learns to share okay so using number five i wanted to generate to create you know the full story for me with different scenes all right story type moral it even gave me like the moral lessons of this story and everything now see the story ellie's favorite toy starts for scene one then see the moral hit ellie didn't know how much fun sharing could be image prompt a cute baby elephant sitting in a sunny jungle surrounded by colorful toys smiling but guiding them so now it just has to do with your prompt. Once you give it the right prompt, that is it. Now I'm going to be copying the image prompt here. The image prompt that I generated for me for the first scene. And then I'll go to Google. And then I'm going to go to Peak Lumin AI. I'm going to type Peak Lumin AI. This is the this is the AI we're going to be using to generate our images. All right. So once you come here, tap on that arrow and then change your size to 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 if you're using YouTube. Then change the images by a badge. We see images by a badge there. Change it to 2 instead of 1. So you can choose from whichever one you want. All right. So now I'm just going to paste what we copied. I'm going to paste it there and then generate. Now it's going to generate for us. You know the image prompt that we got for ChatGPT. It will generate the images for us here. So now see they give us 2. So I'm going to be choosing one of these, all right? So now there's something about seed. This seed down here will help you to, you know, maintain consistency. If you copy this seed, there's a space where you can fix in the seed and maintain consistency of what you want, okay? So the next thing is to download the image that you want, all right? Once you've downloaded the image that you want, then you go to the next, you go to your chat GPT again, and then copy the next image prompt again for let's say the second scene, all right? Once you copy that, come back here to pick Lumin and then input that scene again and, you know, just keep creating. Now, these are the images I was able to create. These are the images I was able to create from the prompt generated by chat GPT, okay? So once you've done that, we're going to go to Canva. Now, this Canva will help us to, you know, create our um, storybook, okay? So once you're here, tap on this plus sign. It will bring you here. Now, what would you like to create? Tap on that. Now, what I would like to create is a storybook, okay? So just tap storybook. Before you even finish typing, it will come out storybook. So we're going to be using that template of storybook. Just tap on storybook that is there. Close to birthday, Instagram, whatever there. Just tap on storybook. Once you tap on storybook, it will bring you to a fresh page like this, okay? Once it brings you here, you will see template as well. They can, you know, they are going to show you different template. But we want to start our own from the scratch, okay? I want to start us from the scratch so i'm just going to go back to our main area main design area once i'm here can you see our main design area once i'm here i'm going to tap on uploads let's see okay first i want to duplicate the pages once i duplicate them so that as i'm creating once i'm done with one i'll move to the next one okay so that's why i'm duplicating them now all right so once i'm done duplicating let's see Let's see how many pages we have now. I think it's up to eight. Okay. Let's go with the first one. Once I'm done duplicating, I'm going to go to um uploads. Okay. So let's see. Either I go to your gallery or you go to uploads. I went to my gallery. I wasn't really seeing the picture. So I went to uploads. Now this upload, you can upload your files, which I've done already. Just tap on upload files and you upload all the images you want. Some are already even loading, sir. So now, once they are loaded, up, then you tap on the one that you want for your first page. Okay? So I'm going to tap on the one I want for my first page. I need to come back to the design area. 
with that picture. Now, this is the picture I chose. All right. Now, this is for my um, cover book. That's the cover book, the first page cover book. All right. So this is what I want. And then I want it to, I set it as image, set image as background. So this image now have become the background. Once I've done that, I'll go to text. You see text down there. That, type on add a heading. Add a heading. Okay. Now, it will bring you here, which you'll be able to edit that text that you want. Okay. So, see edit here. Tap on edit. And then you'll be able to edit the text to what you want. Now, remember the name of our um, storybook. So, the name of the storybook that you got from ChatGPT. That's what we're going to be using here. Okay. Illy the elephant learns to share either early the elephant or early the elephant i don't even know which one i'm going to say right now okay or should we go with early early the elephant learns to share okay so this is the um name so now well we'll have to change the font let's see if we can change the font tap on font once you tap on the text, you can tap on, you see font, tap on the font. Then you can change the font. There are a lot of fonts here on, on Canva. So I was trying to see which fonts will go. I think I later ended up with, is it water lily, right? Let's see. I think I later ended up with the water lily. Okay, so this is just me adjusting the font. So now I'm going to go to the color. See color down there. And then I was just trying to check which color we match. So I tap on that arrow there to, you know, see the other colors. So these are the photos, photo colors. So I just want to see. I think I went with this green. Have we? Okay, no, no, no. I went with this, um, when I say brown. So these are the photo colors. Once, I've, once I'm done with this, then I will go to, I'm looking for effects. Let me see. Okay, this spacing, the line spacing was too much. I had to reduce that, reduce the line spacing. Once I'm done with that, I'll go to effects now. So, because I noticed that it was not, it wasn't really clear. The title wasn't really clear. So, I went to effect. Effect is also down there. Let's look for effect. So, this effect. Now, I'm going to be trying out which one we, you know, we work out. I tried shadow. It was not working. So, I went to spli um, splice. Okay. Let's go to outline. So, I really love the way outline was. It gave this, um this stroke black stroke right so it made it bolder okay so now i'm on the second second page that's the first page the first one was cover um cover um book then this is the first page so now this is scene for the first page so i'm going to copy that from chat gpt which i've done right and then i'm going to tap on text tap on text tap on add a subheading not a heading again so it's a subheading because i'm writing inside the book so for the first page this is it so of course i'm going to be reducing the size of this because this is too much remember we have to we generated images that we're also going to be using right generated images are also going to be using for this so i'm going to be reducing the fonts the font size everything is just down here all the features are here i'm going to be reducing the font size um fixing it well let's just see just take a look at what i'm doing all right once i'm done with this i'm going to go to uploads and then i'm going to get my picture so first of all i want to change the background color okay so i tap on the background the main page and then i want to change the color let's the color will go for so this is me just trying out the photo colors again so i tried to go with this first one yeah i think this goes and then the text color that is black also goes with it right so now i came back to uploads remember the images we uploaded here on canva came back here and then i'm going to be choosing the um, image for the first first page Okay, so this is the image. This is the elephant playing with its toys. Okay. And then these are the animals looking, peeping to see what the, to, what the elephant is playing with. 
right? So now this is it. So I'm going to be going to, so I'm going to go to elements, elements, right? Elements, I'm going to tap on, I'm going to, you see search elements up there. So that search element, search for frame or see frame here, just search for frame. Then you see different frames, see frames. So I'm going to tap on see all. Once you tap on see all, um, all your the frames you will see different type of frames you can use here. So now this frame I want to use, I want to if I want to impute that image into the frame. Okay, so you're just going to see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tap on the um. So this is the frame I got. This is the frame I got, right? Okay, so I'm going to bring that down, and then I'm going to. Um, get take this um image and then drag it into the into the um this thing so first of all this image i want to bring it forward okay so you just go to position go to position tap on arrange tap on forward position then forward then drag it to the frame just what i'm doing can you see what happened once you drag it to the frame it will just enter into the frame let's see how it looks like now wow is this not just lovely i mean this is really nice right so this is really nice so this is what i really wanted it to be i didn't just want it to just be a picture then here i'm going i went back to elements right and then i'm going to search for um forest I'm going to search for forest now what i want to do is the background right i just wanted to have that i don't know <laughs> i just wanted to have that you know um forest kind of background that kind of thing okay so just watch what i'm doing anyways once you tap on forest tap on graphics and then just search for let me look for any leaf or trees let's see which one we'll go for so okay i think i've seen one I went for this one right i went for this one so just drag it can you see what i'm doing drag it okay drag it right so this is me just trying to arrange it then go to your position okay first i want to reduce the opacity the transparency right so i'm going to reduce the transparency to 16 transparency 16 right then bring this one to the center now this remember this um tree is at the back that's backward so go to position and go to backward so that it can go to the back and then the text can be at the front and then the images can be at the front too okay so it is not just lovely i think this is really 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 amazing okay let's move to the next page so you just do exactly the same thing for the next page the next page i'm also going to i'm going to change the color to the color that we've been using okay and then do the same thing for the text for the images now this see the um frame i used for that one can you see so now i've been able to do everything just do it exactly the way i did that's the first page second page third page what page fifth page okay so this is like from the beginning to the end to save your work tap on where that arrow is all right and then you can save your work all right so that you go to tap on more once you tap on more ways to publish right more ways to publish go down you will see heisen flip books either heisen flip books or simple booklet flip this will help you to like give you a flip a book that you can flip through right or you come back and go to download if you want to download it in pdf immediately make sure you select pdf this is pdf front pdf print pages one to seven can you see and then download it immediately and your work will be downloaded in your pdf in a pdf format and then you can upload it on um, amazon and other places you want to upload these kits to your book and okay so i think this is really wonderful thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel bye